Hi. In this video, I will explain how to create a zap using a trigger from another program into an action form or program. So let's start. We will put a name to our zap, which is, trigger, new client from Google Spreadsheet. This is the other program where you will get the trigger from, and then our action will be from our program. So whenever there is new client in the spreadsheet, meaning a new client will also be in our program. Now, the trigger will be coming from our Google spreadsheet, so we can search for the Google spreadsheet, but since it is already here, we will select this program, and then, we will select the trigger from that program. Now, what we want to do is to trigger a new client, so a new client means a new row, so let's find a trigger. It is here, the new spreadsheet row trigger. It states here that, triggered when a new row is added to the bottom of the spreadsheet. So, I have prepared here a spreadsheet with one row. So whenever we add a new row, it will also be added to our program as a new client. So we selected the trigger, then click the continue. Now, we choose a Google spreadsheet account, which at this point I already set it up, and then click continue. So now, what spreadsheet will we be using? We will use this new client credit money machine web spreadsheet that we prepared, and then what spreadsheet on that worksheet? Since, we only have one spreadsheet, we will select this one, and again click continue. Now, it will test the trigger if it get this example which is Rachel Green since we only have one row. So, it basically provides us with all the fields that we can merge into the action program, which is our program, so let's click continue. Now, we already set up the trigger here which is named new spreadsheet row form the program Google Sheet or Google Spreadsheet. At this point let us create an action from our program. So let's find the program in the action in the upper left field, and then, we will select what action to do from the trigger that we selected earlier. So as you can see here, we only have three actions available, which is create client, create field, and create affiliate. In this case, we will use the action create client, which is this one, which basically adds a new client into our program, then we will click to continue. Now, we will choose what account from our program to use and we already set it up earlier which is this one. And then click continue. Now again we have here all the field available to be merged from the trigger program. Let's just get the required fields, so let's merge the action field first name from our trigger field first name. And also the last name merged to our trigger field. So we have merged the action field last name, first name, and also the status 1 field, now we click continue. So now, this zap will test the action, so let's test it if it really goes to our program. Now let us check it. We select all to see if it is here, so client Rachel Green was added here, meaning the test was successful. Now we are going to turn on the zap, and now, let us trigger or create the spreadsheet row in Google Sheets so that a new client will be created in our program. So now, let's say that we create a row which has Monica Geller as our contact, then the email would be Monica at Geller.farens, then the type would be C, then let's say that the stat would be working. Now it is added already, let us check if it also went into our program as a new client. So you see, Monica Geller was added. And that's it. Thank you.